Good morning. How are you doing? Up and at them, George McFadden, this morning. Wanted to get up a little bit earlier than usual and get out into the forest when it was still a bit dusky because wild boars. Still haven't seen one. Oh my God, but look at this. They've been digging here. Where are they, little fuckers? I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. And when the dog stops and looks like he's looking at something, I'm like, where are you, Pumba? Although, did you know that they are not small? Like little Pumba and Timon and the Lion King. Apparently, they're absolutely enormous beasts. So, if you see my eyes scanning around, that's what I'm looking for. So, the next very exciting thing happening on Planet Lisa is the activation micromine. It's time for you to be irritated to fuck by Harry Styles music for a sushi restaurant. Um, 23rd of Jan, Activation Micromind is back for the first 2023 edition with the gorgeous Faye, the human design girl and birth biz babes. So I thought what I'd do is dedicate the next week or so in my stories to business stuff. You know, obviously for me, life and business cannot be separated. And in fact, it's not just for me, that's just my absolute belief across the board. Who you are in life is who you will show up as in business. And all your, you know, if you want to go down a rabbit hole of working out what your beliefs are, what your limitations are, perceived, and all of that jazz, start a business because it will hold a mirror up to every little nook and cranny when it comes to that stuff. This week I'm gonna do a live with Faye. We're gonna talk about the Micromind. Maybe you'll be able to get some tips out of there because we're literally gonna go through what we do in there, you know, to get these incredible results that we get at the end of the five day experience. So, but also, are you a Micromind?er Have you done Micromind? If you have, and you want to do a live with me and talk about your learnings from the Micromind, DM me and let's go live over this week or next week. Also, it's really good for you. I get to introduce you to my community and vice versa, and you get to practice visibility. So the Micromind is for you if you are at the start of your business, your entrepreneurial adventures, um, and you still feel a little bit like you're kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. You've not really got the clarity. Maybe you've been watching YouTubers or like Googling things and making a plan and stuff, right? Which is all really, really helpful. The Micromind is for you if you want somebody who's actually done it for the last 13 years with another person who is an expert on social media and all that jazz and can essentially help you to get older, over the hurdles that inevitably come to show you what they're going to be before you actually arrive at them and give you the tools to literally like go straight through them. So I will put a link so you can go and look at the details of the Micromind. There's also a highlight in my stories from all the times that people have shared, you know, the reviews, all that kind of thing. The Micromind is the most life-changing five days that you'll get for a hundred quid. And full like disclaimer, it could actually blow up your entire life because people go away, not just questioning the way they've been doing business, but the way that they've been doing life. Don't do it if you're not prepared to come away wanting more and questioning everything. Like there's been at least two people have said I basically was ready like to leave my husband slash partner and because I realised all these things about myself that had essentially been holding me back. 
So don't come if you're not prepared to basically have a revelation in business and life. Um, so this next week or so will be dedicated to things that I think might help you whether you join us or not, okay? And the micromind is also for you if you've been set up in business for a little while and you're not getting the results that you want. Maybe you've been DIYing it so far or maybe you have had some support and it's not been specific to our particular like area of work, which is this heart centered, like person based service, like doula in, independent midwifery, um, hypnobirthing, like coaching, all of that kind of thing. Yoga teachers, blah, 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 blah. If you are already doing that and you are not seeing the results that you want to see in your business, this is also for you because you're probably lacking some of these key ingredients that we're going to walk you through, you know, over the five days. So one of the magical things that has really given me longevity as an entrepreneur and as somebody who's worked for himself now for uh, 13 years this year and... Even before that, I'd already moved out of like a job to something that I decided was only, you know, it was aligned to my sole purpose is to evolve, to continually evolve and to be really discerning about the information that you're taking on board and how you're applying it to your business. So one of the things that I see over and over again is people sort of implementing either outdated or completely inappropriate strategies to the business. They pick up a book or they grab a cheap course about marketing or whatever, or maybe they're already in like the realm or have been in the realm of marketing and they just apply those things directly to the thing that they're now trying to create or grow. And if it were that simple, like we'd all be fucking Alan Sugar, let's be honest. It is so much more nuanced than like lifting something and putting it on top of your business and then it'll work. It's way more nuanced than that. There's literally no one formula. So what I wanted to tell you about today was call to action. If you've done any kind of marketing, if, even like just watched a few things, followed a few accounts about growing your business and all that kind of thing, you will have heard of call to action. A call to action is basically telling people to do something. It's as simple as that, right? And what I see time and time again in the sort of doulas, the midwives, the hypnobirthing teachers, the different <clears throat> folks out there that are trying to kind of do this stuff based on this common knowledge that they've heard is the call to action, the constant fucking call to action. It's ending every post with link in the bio or join me for this or and if you want to do that and I can help you and all that stuff. Okay, it's so fucking outdated like it makes my head hurt it's you don't need to put a call to action in everything you do not need to put a call to action on every single if we're just thinking about instagram for a second because that's where this will primarily be seen on every single fucking post that you do you don't need to because this is the flip side of the reel that i posted i think last week and i'm gonna add it in here about sales this is the flip side of it. You've got to think about the buyer, right? The person, the client, the potential client. They all, if you feel weird about selling, then there are people out there that feel weird about being sold to. If you don't like it ramming down your throat all the time, that's what she said, then neither do they. Now, that's not to say there isn't a space and a need to sell. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is you don't need a call to action on absolutely everything because your actual work, your content, the things that you're sharing, whether it's implicitly doing it or not, is selling. It's selling. This is selling. I'm talking about my product. 
and actually stories is a great place to do that because people are they're here because they're actually interested in what you've got to say so it's the perfect place to do it but like just rewinding back to this idea of call to action you don't need one on absolutely everything you just don't and actually it's a bit of a turn off because it can get where it's like pick me pick me and it's a bit desperate just share share your stuff share it from a place of like take it you can have this I don't need anything back from it because when you look at the whole body of work, all of the content, like all of the masterclasses, all of the training, all of the stuff on stories, it's obvious that there's selling going on. Like it's obvious what you are leading them to because you link trees up to date. And if you are super engaging and your content is full of value anyway, people are gonna go I wonder what she's selling like I'd quite like to work with this person do you know what I mean so it's like please for the love of all that is holy stop listening to this bro marketing this masculine tell them what to do rah, 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 bollocks because you don't need it you can do that sometimes a call to action is a great thing but don't forget that actually every single piece of content that you give, uh, that you put out there, everything you do, every connection you make, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Sell, you know, sell, sell, sell by all means, but you don't need a call to action in every single post. You just don't. So that's my little nugget for today. What do you want to ask me? Ask me anything. Ask me anything. What do you want me to talk about over these next couple of weeks? as I sort of lean into the idea of new or, or struggling entrepreneurship. What do you want to know? What do you wish you could ask me? If you were having a coaching session with me, a business coaching session with me, or a mindset coaching session with me, and the two things are always interlinked, like I said at the beginning, what would you ask? And for the love of God, when you're given an opportunity to ask something, just fucking ask. And what I'll do is I'll take the most common ones and I'll turn them into stories, which as everybody knows, my stories are basically mini podcasts. So that's me for today. I'm gonna to carry on with my squidgy walk in the forest. It's getting lighter now. I don't think there's a chance that I'm gonna see a wild boar. I am gonna sneeze though. <coughs> Apparently you shouldn't stifle your sneezes because you can put you back out. But here I am stifling them. Right, I'm off ski. Love you loads, bye.